the assets that I'm going to use are available to download for free. These are the assets, sci-fi buildings. First of all, let's see how to scatter the assets to create the city. I'm going to import the models and send them to a new collection. Select them and press M and name the collection. Now open Geometry Notes. Create a new one. Shift A and add a grid. Now add the distribute points on faces. Also an instance on points, and we need a join geometry. Connect grid to join geometry, so we can see the grid. Alright, here we can define the size of the grid. Now simply drag the collection with the buildings. Connect into instance, and make sure to check the box pick instance. Separate children and reset children. This is very important, otherwise you won't be able to see the objects. I'm gonna change to Poisson disk and we can adjust the minimum distance and density. We can randomize the scale with a random value. Just plug into scale and adjust the minimum and maximum scale. In case you want to randomize the rotation, you can use a random value. This time change to vector. And we can adjust only the C axis. If you want to add more objects, with shift D to duplicate these nodes. Also duplicate join geometry and connect instance on points to join geometry. We need to create the new collection. Now in Geometry Nodes, drag the new collection, connect to Instance, and connect Grid to Distribute Points. Now simply adjust the distance and density for the new objects. I want to fill the grid with these low poly buildings, so I will increase density and lower the minimum distance. For lighting, let's go to world and we can add an HDRI. Select your image. I'm gonna use this HDRI, empty warehouse. These images are from polyheaven.com. You can download for free. If we change to shader editor, switch to world, select the image and press Ctrl T. If it doesn't work, it's because you need to enable the node wrangler add-on. In preferences, add-ons, type wrangler and make sure to enable it. Now you can rotate the image to your liking. The reason why I'm using this image is because I like the reflections, but I will use a different image for the background. To do that, we can duplicate these nodes with Shift D, hold Shift and select both background nodes 
and press Control 0. In this node, I'm going to change the image. This time, I'm going to select Industrial Sunset. And finally, add a light pad. And plug its camera array into Factor in Mix Shader. We can adjust the strength. And now simply rotate the sky until you find something you like. Now I want to add a sunlight. Increase the strength and just rotate the light. To create an atmosphere, we can add a cube In the material, we can add a volume scatter, plug into volume. We need a very low value in density. Now we can pick a color. Feel free to use the buildings you want. This will be my main building for my render. Let's go back to Shader Editor, Change to World, And I'm going to rotate this HDRI until I can see the reflections on the windows. And I'm going to add some area lights. So I can use a warmer color for contrast. Now I'm going to open the compositor in viewport shading change to always shift A and add a glare node We can use Bloom and adjust the strength and saturation. These are some new settings in Blender 4.4, but we can open Highlights and here adjust Dark Hold. There are some props in the asset pack, feel free to use them to add more details. But let's see some ideas to create low poly buildings. I'm gonna add a cube and scale it on the Z axis. With Ctrl A, apply the scale. I'm gonna hit I to insert this face, then E and extrude inwards. Now with this tool, Add cube. We can draw boxes here. I'm just trying to create the roof. Just add some details. And now it's just a matter to add the textures. You can find facade 
textures on the internet. Now in edit mode, press A to select all the faces, then hit U and select cube projection. We can repeat the texture. If you want, you can add a different material or texture to the roof. For this building, we can add more details with Ctrl R, then Ctrl B to bevel, Alt E and extrude faces along normals. Maybe I can add a cube. and bevel this edge with Ctrl B. I can use a new material, select the color, make it metallic, now Ctrl T and add the texture. But instead color we can plug into roughness, We can add a color ramp in between and play around with the colors. Now here in materials, we can add a new material. I'm gonna select these faces, then click on assign. Select the textures. I'm gonna use a window texture. You can download it for free on ambientcg.com Just select the emission texture Now simply plug the texture into emission Increase the strength and you can use the color texture or use a black color Now set roughness to zero For the final render I'm using Eevee, but you can also use Cycles, it's up to you. For Eevee, make sure to enable Ray Tracing for better shadows and reflections. And that's it, I hope you can find something useful, see you.